Universal Remote is a Windows-only add-on that lets you remap any input from a controller onto any property in Blender. Anything. It's fairly simple to use, there's a lot to it, but it shouldn't be too hard to understand. Uh, I'll go through the UI bit by bit. The add-on uses the X input API, which basically if you plug in any compatible controller, you can use the basic inputs. If you have a DualSense controller or a DualShock 4 controller, you can use DS4 windows to maximize more of the input, such as the touchpad, the gyroscope, it's a lot of fun. You can set the polling rate before you start the session, which is how many times per second it refreshes. You can choose to keyframe the data blocks that you do uh, control. You have start session, stop controller connection, and you have use UDP listener. This is how it communicates with DS4 Windows. And in order for it to communicate, you have to enable UDP server in settings of DS4 Windows. Enable UDP server. Enable UDP server, set the address, and set the port. You can use a maximum of four controllers. On each controller, you can set the smoothing factor, uh, how smoothly it should transition between each input value. On each controller, you can set the bind set, which I will get to in a minute. The smoothing factor, how smoothly it should transition between uh, different values. Like, if you put the smoothing factor to 0.5, pressing the X button will gradually get to the maximum value. Lastly, you have a UDP pad ID, which is which controller to grab the inputs from when using DS4 Windows. So if you have one controller, you would set the ID to zero. To set it at negative one means to use no ID. Here are all the inputs that you can use which is a lot. Left joystick, right joystick, trigger, button, south, east. Hopefully that naming scheme doesn't make too many people mad. For each input, you can set its smoothing factor to override the controllers. Now here's how we make binds for each input. For example, let me add a cube. We're gonna add this bind set so that we can add binds under it. Let's name this bind set cube mover add a bind. We're gonna name this X. Now, setting up binds is so easy. Simply find the property that you want to manipulate, right-click on it, and choose Copy Full Data Path. Then down here in the bind, you click Add from Path. Then we can find the input we want to drive with it. We're gonna do left stick joy X, gonna do absolute, additive does what you think it does, and start session. Oh, I didn't assign controller zero a bind set. There we go. Look at that. Let's add another one for Y. Copy full data path, add from path, and do left stick, left stick joy Y. Absolute. And look at that. Now let me get more in depth to how the binds work. I think this is the last bit of detail you need to know about the add-on. There are three types of binds you can use. A normal uh, input bind, which is basically just taking a value and mapping it to a property. In multiply, you're able to multiply the final value of an input just really quick, just really quickly as like a, a tweak. Then you have an expression you can use to modify it. Maybe if we wanted to reverse the input, we would do var times minus one. And if I move the joystick up, it will go down. If I move the joystick down, it will go up. I think the most versatile part about the binds is that you can execute strings to declare variables, to move other things, anything you need to do. This can be in the form of a simple string or a Python text block. If you're going to use that, you need to click this little button down here and set your text block. Then we can do a, let's say, test equals three. Then we're able to access that uh, variable test and add it onto var. And look at that, we have offset our Z value by three. Good time to mention that var is by default your uh, input value. It really pays to know Python when working with this add-on because if you know Python, 
you can do anything with it. By default, you have access to all the math utils and math uh, functions within those two within those two modules. You also have more variables to access, like controller. You can access the controller using that bind. You can access other controller inputs. And I think that's about it. Let me show you how you can use more than one input to drive a value. Let's uh, have triggers be zoom in and zoom out for the FOV of this camera. Copy full data path and Let's make a new bind set. Binds add, add from data path. We're not gonna set a input, but we are gonna do, we can do a default of 50 plus inputs right trigger. And let's say it'll add 20 millimeters onto the focal length. Minus inputs, oh, sorry. We have to get uh, the value attribute of the input. Top, multiply that by 20 and then subtract it with left trigger dot value, we'll do the same, 20. Now if I hold the right trigger, it zooms in, left trigger zooms out, okay. Let's not forget about the other binds. You have switch, which is, it outputs true or false. You have a switch, which just outputs true or false based on an input. If a input value crosses a specific threshold, then do something like, let's make this move up, add from path, make this a switch. We will control it with the X button. If we press X, it moves up, press it again, it moves down. If we disable toggle. And the last type is script. This will just make it so it'll run a script every tick. The last thing I want to show off is this little DualSense demo where you can make trails through the touchpad, uh, press down buttons, move the joystick, and even use the gyroscope controls. I'm not the best with the matrices and quaternions, Maybe maybe if you're more experienced, you can make this work better than I do. I had a chat GPT write me something because <laughs> I, I couldn't figure out how to do it. Yeah, th that's that's how you use the add-on. It's pretty straightforward, all things considered. I am leaving on a flight pretty soon, so I won't be able to give much support for the add-on. So uh, you have my permission to fork the repository and upgrade it how you see fit. See ya. I hope you like it.